Hey there, this is Robin. In this video I'll go over the layout of Eggpad Replay's main screen. By the end of this video you should understand the key sections of the software and the functions. So let's get going. The center section of the screen has two views, the Eggpad view and the list view. Use the buttons in the bottom right corner to switch between the views. The Eggpad view is a reference to show the pad numbers on the Eggpad. If you go back to list view, you see the rows which refer to the same pad numbers, pad 1 to pad 8. On the top left, you see what we call the active selection grid. You see that the Eggpad has five buttons with numbers. Those are the mode buttons. And in each mode, you can select up to five different presets, beginning from A to E. If you activate a preset on Eggpad, it is shown as a solid square at the active selection grid. If you deactivate it, it's an empty square. Also at this row, you see that active presets have brighter colors than non-active presets. Numbers representing the mode button, letters representing the preset button. Each preset can be assigned with up to eight different sounds. Those eight sounds can be triggered by using the eight pads on your Eggpad. You only can trigger sounds from an active preset. See, there's a sound and now no sound. The outer frame around the square here indicates that a sound is being triggered in that particular preset. You also can play multiple sounds simultaneously with one pad. So here I'm using drums and organ sounds together. Also note that in a preset a sound can be either a one-shot or a loop. A loop is basically a sound which repeats itself continuously. Now let's go to what we call the project buttons. Save, load and delete are used to save any changes to projects, load existing projects or completely delete all the sounds and settings within a project. On the next video I will explain which features will be saved when hitting this save button. The reset button brings back the default state with all presets off. Just like at the beginning with the pop-up window, which was described in the first video of this tutorial series. Only press this button if you are sure that you deselected all presets in all different modes. This section on the bottom left allows you to assign effects that are controlled with the two sliders on Eggpad. Watch the video down below for more information on effects and sliders. The bottom half of the center frame shows you the edit selection. Here you find the editing tools available that allow you to tweak sounds that have been assigned to pads. The looper tab is used to view the two live looper channels that are controlled by the live looper buttons on your Eggpad. Awesome! Now you understand the layout of Replay. This means you are ready to learn how to drag and drop your own sounds, how to edit them and how to save your entire set at Replay. So see you in the next video.